I'm now joined by Simonetta Kelly, who is the Director of Earth Observations at the European Space Agency. Thank you very much for coming and joining us today, Simonetta. Thank you. I'm going to start by asking you what sort of contributions Earth observation satellites have provided for us in regards to climate change. Yes, Earth observation satellites, particularly those of the European Space Agency, have provided a lot of contributions in terms of support to the essential climate variables, those indicators which are associated to climate evolution, climate change. And we work closely with scientists from all over Europe and all over the world to provide them data to include those data in the climate models. Two examples, one is the ice melting, you know that there's about one billion uh, tons of ice melting every year in the Arctic and Antarctic, which are permanently monitored night and day, also through radar instruments. But uh, so that melting of the ice has been certainly one of the indicators of the evolution of climate. And that melting of the ice, it's also impacting very much the sea level rise, which is impacted by the rise of temperatures, but also by the rise of ice, which is melting. So another parameter that we've been managing to look and monitor very much over the last 30 years with satellite, satellite data also Sentinel-6, Michael Freilich satellite, which is a collaboration between ESA, NASA, NOAA, the European Commission and UMETSAT, is a satellite which has an altimetry on board and looks at the trends in terms of variables associated to the sea level rise. And sea level rise, you have to look into long period of time, like for all climate variables. And those data integrate data and complement data from other missions, national and Europeans, which were previously available. They give us a trend currently which is shifting in terms of sea level rise from 3.5 millimeter per year into 4.8 as an average trend overall, which is quite worrying. What's the role of collaboration in finding solutions for local satellite adaptation? Can you talk us through some examples? Yes, we have today a program which is called GDA, Global Development Activities in ESA. And this program is a collaboration with the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank. We work with them since about 10 years. We have a structured collaboration and we support projects which are very much uh, concrete projects in priority fields associated to, for example, the World but priorities in different regions of the world, in Latin America, in Africa, in Southeast Asia with the, with the Asian Development Bank, for example, on crop monitoring in Southeast Asia, rice monitoring, uh, or on coastal erosion in Bangladesh. Or, and in that uh, type of project, what ESA does, not only it provides the expertise in terms of knowledge of what available techniques we can use and exploit for those projects, provides the data sources, it provides the training, and also, of course, together with the partners locally, but also internationally, the visibility of those projects. And there, we cooperate very much with GEO, which is another network of non-space actors, but environment actors, civil protection actors, over 100 countries that work to support and to integrate the use of EO data in the daily life of citizens. Simonetta Kelly, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.